Hey guys, my name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the second half of October reading for you all. October 16th through the 31st reading for Taurus. How are you all today? I am doing great. I hope you guys are too. This is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate, you might want to try your other signs. I've already meditated on the cards, you all, before I start the video. And it does take me just a minute. Please be patient with me. The cards that we're using today are the Arcanum Tarot the Energy Oracle, and the Angel Answer Oracle cards. Sometimes they pop right out, sometimes they don't. See what we got. The Nine of Wands. The Star card. The Nine of Swords. Chariot. Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Wands. You're clarifying. Ten of Wands, Two of Pentacles, and the Empress. Door to personal healing and happiness. Hostilities. It's pretty, isn't it? Ask for help from others and be assertive. Give me just a minute, okay? I have a feeling um, that there's been something going on maybe in your life that you have been trying hard possibly to help someone or to help a situation bending over backwards for um, this person or this uh, friend or this relative and for some reason you don't feel like you may feel like you're being a little bit taken advantage of you may feel like no matter what you do you just can't hold on you can't help that situation so it's it's it almost makes me feel like that you're going to turn your back or you're going to move forward from a person, a job, a situation, a, a co-worker, a family member, something that's bringing you stress, something that's bringing you um, a hostile environment, 
it's something that possibly you can't control. But but when I I think when you do this is where this door to personal healing and happiness comes in. That's when you can actually be happy yourself instead of trying to take care of everybody else around you or every situation that maybe you can't control. And that's kind of how I'm feeling. It's almost like, um, let's say, let me give you an example for instance. These could be your children. And not that you want to turn your back on your children, but there's certain times when you can help your children and there's certain times when you can hurt them by trying to help them. And then after you do it for a while, they start expecting, right? And then the next thing you know, they're expecting you to pay their bills, they're expecting you to take care of them, and you're like, wait a minute, you're 20, 25 years old, you need to be taking care of yourself. So that's kind of how I'm feeling. It's not like... Um, it's, it's something that you're doing out of the goodness of your heart, but it's backfiring on you. And I think it's time that you, you finally realize that you're going to have to change things. Because it, it's, all it's doing is it's stressing you out. It's making you hostile. It's making the people around you hostile. And it's a bad situation. Here's the good news. There is good news, you all when this changes and when you actually do something about it or put your foot down or um, change how you deal with things you're going to be so much happier door to personal healing and happiness and that's exactly what it means new beginning in your personal life positive changes coming in Happiness, whether it be with your job, with your family, with your friends, with your co-workers, whatever it is, there's something about this that makes me feel like that you're going to either get new opportunities or you're going to be in a different situation that you can make yourself happy about. Ten of Wands here, the Nine of Wands. For heaven's sakes, you're taking on too much of a responsibility. You're taking on too big of a load. So once again, you're just feeling like no matter how, how hard you try, you just can't keep up. But that's coming to an end. Could possibly lead you to, to, to job opportunities, to other opportunities, to other situations that may come up for you that you may be able to choose. To homes, to jobs, to... Um, ideas to create something from because I have this empress right here and she's like mother nature she's just a really good person in general so maybe this is the person that's helping you but maybe you have a little bit of this um, nurturing side to you she's very nurturing very loving loves nature loves people loves animals but then on the flip side, she's very, um, she can stand for a birth of a baby, but she can also stand for a birth of a new situation in your life, a new way of living. So that's kind of how I'm feeling. It's almost like once you stick up for yourself and you turn your back on something, you're going to see your life changing for the better especially with this star card, especially with this, um, almost makes me feel like your wishes are, well, that's what it means, is your wishes are coming true. But it also makes me feel like that the universe is helping you along the way, pointing you in the right direction. Here's the way to go. Here's the path to take. Here's what you need to do. And when you start getting those feelings, those gut feelings and those instincts, that's when you start acting on them. And when you do is when you start realizing that you should have done this maybe a long time ago. Because you're moving forward. I mean, this is like a, you're happy, you're moving forward, you're, you're on the right path, 
you're determined, you're focused. And this could be some kind of message, a, a swift message coming in. Maybe it's a long distance message. And then we have the be assertive and ask for help from others. You know, the be assertive could be you sticking um, to your, sticking up for yourself, sticking up for the way you're wanting to handle things, sticking up to your coworkers or your um, boss, maybe, to your family, to your friends, to your children, to your parents. And then it says, ask for help from others. If you do ever need help, whether it be um, advice, some place to stay, if you own your own business or you have employees, ask for help. This almost makes me feel like once you take a hold of this situation and realize your life and your happiness is going to change. You're going to feel a lot better. Give me just a minute, okay? straight you all here's how I feel about it there's something going on that um, you're you're turning your back on there's a situation in your life that may not be good for you that you are that you have been involved in and you're turning your back on that person, that situation, that um, environment almost, that negative feeling that you have. You're just not going to put up with it anymore. It's over hostilities, whether it be in, under you or someone else or the whole situation is just hostile. You have this Nine of Swords that makes me feel like that this is stressing you out along with the Nine of Wands which really makes me feel like you're being, a lot of things are being thrown at you. Along with the 10, for heaven's sakes, you're being pulled in too many different directions. You've got too many responsibilities. But I think all of that's coming to an end. You've got this Eight of Wands, which could, could mean some kind of message coming in, swift message. Some people say it's a message of love. It could be a new opportunity. It could be someone uh, long distance. And then you have this two of pentacles. I almost feel like that you may have two options coming up in the future that you may have to choose between. And I think you're going to be happy about the options. And then I get this empress right here. Now this could be someone that's helping you. A mother figure or a friend of yours or someone that just has a big heart. Someone that's very nurturing and and loving and kind and caring. She can also stand for a birth of a baby, but it can stand for a birth of a new way of thinking, a new way of living, a new life for a lot of you. Ask for help from others if you need it. Be assertive with this situation because you don't need the hostile environment. And then I get this star card thinking that the universe now is leading you in a direction that will make you feel good about yourself, make you uh, start loving yourself again. If there's anything that you don't like about yourself, you may want to work on it. Start loving yourself. Start getting more confidence in yourself. And when you do, you will actually be able to feel like a, um, a better person. 
and that along with this personal healing and happiness the two cards together really make me feel like you guys are going to start thinking in a different way and feeling better about your life and about your situation and about yourself because with this chariot right here you're moving forward you're staying strong you're staying determined you're on the right path you're moving forward you're not going to let anything stand in your way and you're just going to stay focused on what you're wanting in life. So I believe that even though this may be a little bit fragile at, at one point, I think it's going to be for the best for you and you're going to be tickled when it's all said and done. I really do. All right, Taurus, this is your second half of October reading, October 16th through the 31st reading for Taurus. I hope you guys have enjoyed this today, and I hope you guys come back and see me. Take care, you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.